Right, I had a lot of questions in my Quick Fang video, so here we're just going to go over a lot of the lesser known attributes about the weapon, and we're also going to go a bit more in depth in the perks and also how this weapon functions. Now, first of all, people were a bit confused by what I meant by world drop. Now, this basically means any normal engram, but it's worth noting there's a much more consistent way to get class specific swords. Using the Prismatic Recaster, you can actually unlock a blade focus by getting sword kills. This will guarantee your sword drop. But make sure you are on the right class when you're trying to unlock this sword, as you can only get the Quick Fang while you're on your Hunter. If you're on Warlock or Titan, you will get that class specific sword. Next up, I wanted to talk about the increased movement speed. On screen, you can see a normal sword compared to the Quick Fang. As you can see, Quick Fang is just slightly faster, but we can ramp up this movement ability quite a bit. The Stompies are an exotic pair of boots which buff your movement speed, so if we add 100 mobility and also those to the mix, as you can see, we get slightly faster. It's also worth noting Bottom Tree Arc Strider actually has a perk which boosts movement speed, so if we stack all of this together, then we get pretty fast. And if you were wondering here, then this is what Dragon Shadow looks like with 100 mobility as well. But really, if you're looking to boost the speed here, then you're going to want to use Assassin's Blade. This is a column 4 perk which boosts your movement speed after getting a kill, and it fits perfectly with the whole idea of Quick Fang. So if you are going to go for a god roll, then I would definitely say Assassin's Blade is the way forward. Although, if you are looking for an alternative, One for All is a very strong perk, and it will buff your damage for 9 seconds after hitting 3 enemies. I did try this out, and it was pretty fun to use, but personally, I'm always going to be leaning towards Assassin's Blade. As for the other perks, in Column 1, Jagged Edge and Hungry Edge are your best bets. The Guard is always going to be Sword Masters, and then in Column 3, Relentless Strikes is your best bet, but I know some people may use Thresh. Now, Thresh will increase the amount of super energy you get for getting kills. Now, this paired with the new Hunter Boots could be really strong, so let me know if you get that roll. As for the mod on the weapon, I've been using Backup Mag. Now, this is for a couple of reasons. In the new Splicer game mode, there's actually heavy ammo crates all the while, and if you have Backup Mag, it means you can use this weapon all the time without really needing to switch. But anyway, this has been a really fun weapon to use again. I heard a lot of people that had a Quick Fang from Year 1 that never even dismantled it, and they still use it to this day, so it's nice we can finally get, you know, a new version of the Quick Fang. Anyway, I hope that cleared up a lot of the questions from the first video. If you've got any more, then please leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. But apart from that, thank you so much for all the support on the first video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay and goodbye. Been on my whip and I'm parked up.